it like a fourth rater. Go ahead, make me out a liar for a couple of rates. Come here, stupid. Hey, hey, where do you get that stuff? Where do you get that stuff, boy? You know you're three pounds overweight? Well, what about it? What about it? You can't fool the scales. What are you going to do when you weigh in? <laughs> I'll stand on one foot. Hey, Murph, wait a minute. Can I have something to eat? Go and tell Nosey to give you a cup of coffee. Coffee? I never drink coffee in the morning. No, why not? <laughs> Keeps me awake all day. <laughs> Get over in that gym and go to work. I haven't walked so much since my last automobile ride. Ooh, am I all in. Ah, looks like some other dame had the same idea about giving him a camoni. Gee, that makes mine look like a stray pup in a dog show. Oh, I still think yours is the niftiest. I guess George has been worrying along pretty well without me. Oh, you know George will wear the robe you brought. Oh, no, he won't, Toots. He won't even know I brought it. Well, I guess I'll sit down and rest my hands and face. Hey, listen, Toots, I've been thinking it over. Did you see a crooked-looking kind of a guy down at the station? Sure, I saw him. It was Bob Morgan's manager. Yeah, I thought he looked like he was working some kind of a racket. Maybe he came down here to call a fight off. To fix the fight is more like it. That guy's so crooked he has to sleep. Sit up, you're going through town. Sounds like the babbling of a vacant mind. Sue, do you smell an unpleasant odor around here? I guess you two girls don't like me much. <laughs> if I could guess as good as that, I'd play the horses. And speaking of horses, that reminds me. I guess I'll scout around and see if I can find my dinky. <laughs> Goodbye, good looking. <laughs> Just a nice, quiet, refined girl. You must be pretty worried about that fight tomorrow night or you wouldn't come all the way down here. Says you. And I'm surprised to see you worried about any fight. You usually have them all fixed. Well, you ought to be a telephone operator. And why? Because you've got the wrong number. I don't think so, but if I have, excuse me. Oh, why don't you ring off? Oh, hello, Sue. I'm glad to see you. Same to you, Pop. Look who's amongst us. Well, Dan, there's an unexpected visit. Hiya, Pop. Say, what chance to see you alone for a minute or so? Alone? Yes, a little something I'd like to go into conference with you about. Am I in the world? You stay right where you are, Stu. Anything you got to say to me, you can say to the entire world. Well, my little story is short and to the point. Bob Morgan must win tomorrow night for the benefit of everybody concerned, see? Well, as far as I'm concerned, Bob Morgan won't lay a glove on George for the whole 15 rounds. That's all I wanted to know, Pop. All I wanted to know. So, that's the way you're going to fight the champion. Outbox him, eh? Well, well, well. Any objection? No. Nope. Two. None at all. Hello, no. big boy. Where did you come from? Gee, it's great to see you after such a long time. Aren't you glad to see me? Well, what do you expect me to do? Kiss you in front of Cutney and everybody? You're looking great, kid. Thanks. I might say that you're looking better now than you will for the next three weeks. If Morgan could fight as good as you can shoot off your mouth, you two would be all set. What are you thinking your chances tomorrow night, kid? All right. Just a little bit nervous, eh? Sure, I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, that's bad. This is all the information you get out of me. When I fight your boy tomorrow night, I'll do the best I can. Well, good luck. Oh, read what Runyon has to say about you and the American this morning, and you'll realize that you'll have to do better than the best you can. Uh, drop around to my place tomorrow about three, Pop. We may get together for the benefit of all concerned. So, you're going to box the champion, eh? Well, well. That's Hunky Dory. Just Hunky Dory. Hey, what's the book? I didn't know you could read. This book will make a champ out of a sucker. It's The Works by Shakespeare. What's the name of it? Oh, just a little episode The Winner's Tale. That's no book for you to read, The Winner's Tale. You should read The Loser's End. Yeah, this is the book that put Tony on his feet. Oh, no, it didn't. The long count did that. Say, what do you know about fighting, anyhow? Oh, I know fighting from the ground up. From the ground, but not up. You're way overweight, and you and I are going to play a scene from The Merchant of Venice, and I'm going to get my pound of flesh three oh. times. Oh, no, no, see, that won't do no good. Maybe maybe I could worry it off if I had something to worry about. Yeah, well, I could give you something to worry about, but you haven't got anything to worry with. Come on in the gym till I condition you up a bit. No, I'm too I'm too weak for anything like that right now. How about some nice schnitzel put this? Oh, boy, coax me, boy. Go on and coax me. I'll go and get you some. <laughs> now you're talking, boy. I repeat, now you're talking. Bring two bottles, and we'll drink to my success tomorrow night. Oh, Gink, you know I want you to win, but I don't like to taste that stuff. I make it for other people. It makes me sick. Well, hurry up and get it. Nothing makes me sick. <laughs> I always believe in carrying a spare. Here you are, boy. Uh, what do you mean, here you are, boy? Uh, well, I was just going to drink the king's help. Well, then start drinking to it. Say, why don't you go home? Why don't you go home? I've decided I don't care much about his health. I think I'll go in and stew a couple of prunes. No, you don't. Come back here and drink that. Oh, well, 
Okay, then I hope you win with all my heart, liver, and bacon. Uh-huh. Oh, see how I abuse my stomach just for you? Well, go in and get me some in a hurry. My stomach is crying for abuse. <laughs> Say, haven't you got anything to do? Any socks to darn or buttons to sew on? I came back here. See, I forgot. Uh, where's Nosy? He's in a kitchen, threading needles. Here you are, boy. <laughs> hey, Nosy. What do you mean, here you are, boy? <laughs> Well, Kiki K- K- South needs a lot more drinking done to it. Well, then start drinking to it. Ah, uh, why don't you go home? Why don't you go home? Break out with the hives and scratch yourself to death. Drink it down. Well, uh, it's your health, Kink, even if I ruin my own. Uh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, that's the last bottle I got. But it's a good thing for you. Say, uh, uh, what am I, a camel? Where's my beer? That's all right. I was just fooling. I got plenty more schnizzle for... Beer inside. I'll get you a great big bottle. <laughs> now you're talking, boy. Hurry up before old Poison Ivy gets back. <laughs> Say, you're becoming irksome. Why don't you get yourself run over? Please try and get yourself run over. Say, this dry weather is terrible for the vegetables. Might <laughs> have slipped something over on me, eh? No. Say, I'm out of you two mugs like nobody's business. You're trying to slip something over, eh? No. You're trying to give this guy beer, eh? No. Well, not while I'm around. No. Not while I'm around. You know, beer is the worst thing in the world for him. Especially that furniture polish that you make. I'm up on my knees. Sorry, boy. Ramona. I am a mission, Belzeria. <laughs> oh, Salzburg. Hey, 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 Nosey. Huh? Uh-huh, let's go to the kitchen where we can get all the stitch of butcher we want, huh? No, sir, I'm not going to give you another drop, I Oh, ain't. what's the matter? Are you afraid of Murph? No, I just found out something about my snizzle pussy. Yeah, what? <laughs> I like it myself. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, boy. Swing out the line. My oh, it's me again. It's me again. Do you really love me? Say, you're the cream in my coffee. You're the salt in my you. You will all be my necessity. I'd be lost without you. You're the starch in my collar. You're the lead in my shoe. You will all be my necessity. I'd be lost without you. Most men tell no tales. And each made no tales. You heard each no way. My own way, you're the tail of my love, you're the captain and crew. You will all be my defense, I'd be lost without you. You're the dream, my coffee, you're the dog, my shoe. You will all be my defense, I'd be lost without you. You're the starch, my collar, you're the lace, my shoe. You will all be my defense, I'd be lost without you. Syracuse had a sore jaw for a month. <gasps> Mr. Shine, tell me, what was the hardest fight of your career? Well, last summer I had a terrible tough time of it in a vestibule with a dame in Brooklyn. <laughs> what, not leaving so soon? Ask me up to dinner sometime, anytime. I'm easy to cook for. <laughs> I eat anything. Oh, my great God, 